Gerald Francis Coleman was born September 14, 1924 in San Jose, California. Son of Teresa Viola Pearl Bodine and Gerald Griffin Coleman and brother to older sister Rosemarie. Coleman attended Lowell High School in San Francisco where he excelled in athletics. He was awarded a baseball and basketball scholarship to the University of Southern California. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, Coleman wished to enlist right away, but since he was six months shy of his 18th birthday, he had to wait. A New York Yankee scout offered him a spot in their minor league club that summer, and Coleman jumped at the opportunity. On his 18th birthday, Coleman left the minor league team and enlisted in the U.S. Navy as a naval aviation cadet in the V-5 program. After his training, Coleman was commissioned as a second lieutenant and awarded the Gold Wings as a Marine Corps aviator. In August of 1944, Coleman was shipped to Guadalcanal, assigned to the 341st Marine Scout Bombing Squadron, otherwise known as the Torrid Turtles. Coleman flew 57 combat missions operating Douglas SBD Dauntless dive bombers throughout campaigns involving Guadalcanal, the Solomon Islands, and the Philippines. Coleman earned two Distinguished Flying Crosses and seven Air Medals. In January of 1946, Coleman went on the inactive list. Once home, he returned to the New York Yankees minor league where he spent three seasons before being called up to the majors in the spring of 1949. In his first major league season, Coleman was the starting second baseman for the Yankees. Batting 275 with 123 hits, he helped lead the Yankees to a World Series win. Coleman was named the Associated Press 1949 Rookie of the Year. The next season proved even better for Coleman as he drove in 69 runs and batted 287. Coleman made the 1950 American League All-Star team and was named the most valuable player in the World Series after he hit the winning run in Game 3 against the Phillies. In 1952, Coleman returned to active duty for a second tour, this time for the Korean War. Once again, Coleman postponed his baseball career trading in his Yankee pinstripes for Marine Greens. During his service in Korea, Coleman piloted Corsair attack planes, flying 63 close air support and interdiction strike missions for the 323rd Marine Attack Squadron. He earned six more air medals, the Korean Service Medal with two stars and the United Nations Service Medal. Coleman remained with the Marine Corps Reserves until he retired as a Lieutenant Colonel in 1964. In August 1953, Coleman returned to the U.S. after his service in Korea, and in less than a month he was back on the field playing for the New York Yankees. After several injuries in the 54 and 55 season, Coleman played sparingly until his retirement in 1957. Although he left the field, Coleman didn't move too far entering the broadcasting booth, first as a sports announcer with the Yankees, and then the California Angels. Coleman also hosted CBS Radio's Network Game of the Week series. In 1972, Coleman went on to announce for the San Diego Padres, leaving for only one season in 1980 to become team manager. After that year, Coleman returned to his announcing chair and has remained there ever since, becoming the voice of Padres baseball. San Diego, California, the New York Yankees, San Diego Padres, game four of the 1998 World Series. In 2005, Coleman was inducted into the broadcaster's wing of the Baseball Hall of Fame. In 1981, Coleman married wife Maggie in their hometown of La Jolla, California. Coleman is a dedicated father to his three children, Diane, Chelsea, and Jerry Jr. Gerald Francis Coleman is considered one of the best defensive second basemen of all time. In his nine seasons with the New York Yankees, Coleman played in six World Series and won eight division titles. His broadcasting work with the San Diego Padres has earned him a place in baseball history. However, if asked, Coleman would say that it was the five years he spent in uniform that were the most important of his life. The United States Navy Memorial presents the 2011 Lone Sailor Award to Gerald Francis Coleman.